back, ladies and gentlemen, to Argos Anonymous. My name is Adam, and this is the very first episode of a new series that's going to be called Lore Pack Crack, where you can get your pack crack and fix and a little bit of cryptid nation lore along the side. You know, each of these cryptids has so much history behind them, so many stories, um, and some of them are really cool, and a lot of them are, are you know, pretty popular, like Mothman or or Babe the Blue Ox, but but quite a few are lesser known. So we're going to be cruising through these packs one at a time. We have the Alpha Kickstarter packs here because, well, that's all I have. And for as long as I have packs, I will keep doing these video series. Um, I think no product is going to come out for a couple more months, so in all likelihood, I'm going to run out before before that happens. But until then, let's let's just open some packs and have some fun and learn about cryptids. Ah, MetaZoo, MetaZoo, MetaZoo. You know, there are some people coming out here saying... Oh, MetaZoo is never going to take off. It's not a thing. You know, this is all just a big, big fat scam. Well, I got news for you, man. MetaZoo is already taking off. So why not just drop the negativity and join the party? I have here an alpha Kickstarter pack because that's all I've got. I'm going to open these until there's none left. Let's pick a beastie out of here and then learn about some cryptid lore. There's so much kind of cool stuff going on. So what do we have here? We got anti-magic field. We'll skip that. The Bunny Man, contender number one, creepy bunny man. Oh my God, he's so crazy. Look at him, he's coming for you. And we've got the Cactus Cat, contender number two. We'll skip the earthquake because it's just a spell. We got Hide Behind. We'll kind of, well, that looks like an actual thing. When you're drinking in a forest, <laughs> be wary of trees that sway a little too much. That's got to be a thing. Look at that thing. This has got to. This has got to be some kind of story. We should maybe we should try to find it some other time. We got the hoop snake contender number three. We've got hug and Molly. Look at all these. Oh my gosh, there's so many to talk about. We can only talk about one though. And forest gods camber. Nice zero cost artifact with fifty uh, life points that you can fatigue to generate aura. So this is a very playable card. Of course, this beautiful full holo foil forest gods amber. We'll put that aside though because we're talking about lore in this lore pack crack what should we do should we do uh should we do hug and molly should we do hoop snake cactus cat bunny man oh my god okay it's bunny man we got to do bunny man so what we're going to do now we're going to take a little deep dive into the bunny man lore let's check it out so the bunny man is an urban legend that originated from two incidents in fairfax county virginia in approximately 1970 but since then it's spread throughout the world washington dc and maryland all kinds of places it's been reported on in multiple newspapers and magazines and the stories can be found uh, published in books and on youtube videos etc so check out these other things if you want to learn more about the bunny man but for now the legend has many variations, most of which involve a yep, man wearing a rabbit costume who essentially attacks people with an axe or hatchet, something like that. Um, a lot of the stories occur in the uh, Colchester Overpass, a southern railway overpass spanning Colchester Road near Clifton, Virginia, which is sometimes referred to as the Bunny Man Bridge. Versions of the legend vary in the bunny man's name, motives, weapons, victims, descriptions of the bunny costume or lack thereof, and sometimes even his possible death. In some accounts, victims' bodies are mutilated, and in some variations, the bunny man's ghost or aging specter is said to come out of his place of death each year on Halloween to commemorate his passing. The first incident was reported in the evening of October 19 in 1970 by U.S. Air Force Academy Cadet Robert Bennett and his fiancée who were visiting relatives on Guinea Road in Burke. Around midnight while returning from a football game, they reportedly parked their car in a field on Guinea Road to visit an uncle who lived across the street from where the car was parked. As they sat in the front seat with the motor running, they noticed something moving outside the rear window. Moments later, the front passenger window was smashed and there was a white-clad figure standing near the broken window. Bennett turned the car around while the man screamed at them about trespassing, including, you're on private property and I have your tag number. As they drove down the road, the couple discovered a hatchet on the car floor. No doubt the hatchet used to smash the window. But when the police requested a description of the man, Bennett insisted he was wearing a white suit with long bunny ears. However, Bennett's fiance contested that no, the assailant did not have bunny ears over his head. He was just wearing, you know, some other white suit of some sort. But they both remembered seeing his face clearly in the darkness, but they couldn't determine his race, just the bunny suit or the white suit. 
Police later returned the hatchet to Bennett after examination. After this time, multiple subsequent reports were coming out of the same area where people reported a guy in a white suit with a hatchet, and people started to report again seeing someone in a bunny suit lurking around that area. And thus, the legend of the bunny man was born. And our cryptid here, the Beastie Humanoid Bunny Man 5 per spellbook, costs 2 dark, 50 life points in our new fantastic game meta zoo that we can now enjoy and thus ends our first episode of lore pack crack tune in next time for who knows what we'll see what comes out of the packs argos out